Even the ladies earn more salary more than we the men. Okay. Just stay there and work. Because outside work, you know, my sister. Wahala day. Too much stories. <laughs> oh I Yo, you know what it is, you know what it does. I go by the name Moana Dagi and welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So basically, as you can see, I'm at the rooftop, you know, as you can see, it's very enjoyable. So basically, uh, there is this new segment I'm starting on my, on my YouTube channel. Yeah, golf stories. So we shall be sharing our moments, especially here in golf and in particular in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. So without Father Adu, let me welcome our guest today. One, two, three, come on. Come on, come on. So today I'm super excited. I'm hosting one of my best friends. So he will introduce himself as we proceed. So bro, how are you doing? Good bro. How are you? I'm being good bro. I just introduce you yourself to my audience. Okay. My name is Eus Andrews from Ghana, West Africa. Uh, you know why I just want to have conversation with you? Uh, it's because um, as we are working here in, in, in Gulf countries, we need to share one or two things with the, our friends who are here and also who are back at our countries. So first of all, me, I'm super excited to have you, especially you as a Ghanaian. Uh, there is a few things I would like uh, to know from you. So uh, why did you decide to, uh, to come to Saudi Arabia? No, I decided to travel to Saudi Arabia because in uh, my country, Ghana, there are a lot of lack of jobs. We don't have jobs there. That's the reason why I decided to travel so that I can get something. I mean, to cater for my, for my parents and for my family. That's the reason. Okay, you're saying lack of uh, job, I mean, in short, lack of employment. Yeah. So our governments, at least for us not to travel out of our countries, you need to create job opportunities for us. You need to, uh, to accommodate more investors so that they can invest in our country, so that we can have more co companies which they can employ us. Am, yeah. I, am I right? Yes, you are right. Because if there is more jobs, no, nobody will decide to leave his own mother country, motherland to different country that's yeah. it my bro so uh how, how did you come w under which process oh the process uh, it was very good very good mm. did you come on your own or you, use a, you used an agent i used an agent i passed two agents before entering saudi arabia okay so uh, there, there is one thing I, I, I would like to know i know in my country like me how i came same same like you through an agent. By the way, shout out to HR Connection, Mombasa Alikoni Plaza. I, I really appreciate. So me, I came with through an agent, agent uh, called uh, HR Connection. They are the one who are uh, processing uh, the interview, and they did it very well. And I was lucky. I also I did not pay anything because nowadays I usually hear like some people are paying um, money as commission. Me, I was very lucky. I did not pay even 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 a shilling. Mm -hmm. So what about on your side? Oh, my side idea because I passed through agent. I passed through agent. I paid four thousand five hundred Ghana cities. Hey, that is a lot of money. Yes, four thousand five hundred Ghana cities. That one I paid. That's but, that one is equivalent to how 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 how, how many dollars? Dollars um, seven hundred dollar. Seven hundred dollars. Yeah. yeah. Hey, that is a lot yeah. of money. You know, yeah, seven seven hundred dollars. When I convert in my Kenyan currency, that is around uh, uh, 70,000 shillings, if I'm not wrong, right? Now that is a lot of money. So there is another thing, you know, in my country, there is, there is a kind of a perception, like, uh, uh, especially for Saudi Arabia. Mm. If you tell someone that <laughs> I'm going to Saudi Arabia, or you are going to Saudi Arabia, you will be discouraged. Yes. Because of uh, the stories we have been uh, hearing on television and on social media and such kind of things. So what about... On your country yes they is there a bad perception yes the same thing because we heard about saudi arabia social media because our brothers and sisters who came here 
who, who live, uh, I mean, who came to Saudi Arabia and returned back you now, they have experience. And what they see, I mean, is what they, they tell us. But me being here you now, I will also tell my story. That's when uh, it will come. So let's continue. <laughs> All right. So, okay, we are, we are, in, we are in a position where. So, after the interview, you already got the job, right? Yes. So, there is one thing I would like to know. Mm. How did your family took it? Yeah. You know, yeah. you know uh, another thing in my country. Mm. So, sometimes when uh, people are they get, some people when they get this job, especially to travel to Saudi Arabia, mm. when they go to inform the, the family, mm. you know what they usually do? Yeah. They will tell them, I'm going to Dubai, I'm going to Qatar. Because of that, yeah. Perception. Yes. You got the point. Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, uh, when I was travel, uh, my parents did not know about it. Only my brother know about it. Before I reach here, before I send my, I was up my parents, tell my parents that I travel to Saudi Arabia. So, so you mean you just informed your parents when you arrived here? Yes. Why you don't inform them? No. If I inform them, I, I don't know what maybe they will say, but. What matters is that I reach there safely, and I ha and I also <laughs> I have my brother also. My brother also have a connection with them. So the mm -hmm. time I reach there, you know, that's all. Okay, so uh, he's saying uh, he did not inform the uh, sorry he did not inform his uh, parents because uh, he he didn't know how they will take it. Yes, uh, am I right? Yes, because I don't know because they have been saying bad bad things about the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. So if I inform them, maybe they will be scared. They will not encourage me to travel, but I travel without informing them. <laughs> so another thing is like, so uh, how was the experience? How was it your first time to fly? Yeah, bro, that was my first time to fly. I was very excited because because uh, I was having a job and uh, it collapsed. So I was happy to, that I'm I'm going to I'm get going a, a job. job yeah. And so I was very excited and yeah, I was very excited to so, get another job. Okay. So uh, that, 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 that post that you got, was it well paying? Like how much? Like, okay, just don't, don't give me the actual figure, but just, just uh, roughly how much? 1,300 reals. Oh, reals. Uh -huh. Yeah. And your overtime, overtime coming now, uh, you earn more. It depends on uh, how uh, the hours you work. That's all. When you landed, mm. how did you feel? Oh, bro. What, and uh, what were your what were your expectations? Oh, bro, I feel so happy because I see the atmosphere. <laughs> yeah, I feel very excited. And when I reached at the airport, I mean, uh, they treat us as one. Uh -huh. Yeah, no interference. Not like you are. You are from Russia, you are from uh, Dubai, you are from America, no, no, no. Uh -huh. The way they would treat that equally, bro, that's what I experienced. So I was very excited. That's why I'm happy for the, for the security and the, I mean, agencies of Saudi Arabia airport. They treat everybody fairly. So in short, you are trying to say that uh, everything was well planned. Yes, everything was well planned. Wow, we thank God. So you know, there, there is uh, some uh, some of these uh, companies. They usually process everything and they make it possible for you to travel. So you just travel, and when you arrive at the airport, you just uh, find someone who's waiting for you there. So there is something I would like to know. Mm. Uh, so when, when when you arrived here, mm. or when you, you you made it to the company, mm. did you find your fellow Africans? Yes, I find my fellow Africans. The first time. Are you excited? Yes, I was excited. Come now to know about uh, how you've been working. So, when, when you came, of course, there was that contract. Yes. Right? Yeah. And uh, maybe they briefed you about the job that you'll be doing. Yes. Right? Yes. So, uh, that, that, that kind of a contract and uh, the job that you came to do, is it the same? Uh, in, uh, yeah, I, I would say that. Uh, they gave me as a labor, but the time I came here, they changed my department to fridge labor. I, I came as a labor, but they, they gave me a fridge labor. So I started preparing fridge, having some experience. So I became a master in the fridge. So I get uh, some skills about that one. That one very good. The place where they put me, you know, I get some experience. So I can even go to my country and do the same work there. Not one day, 
I have praise for the company. Yeah, so at least you are saying that is, uh, you have gained a lot of skills that you didn't have when you came. Yes, because in my country I was an excavator mechanic. Mm -hmm. And here too, I came here and they, they gave me a fridge mechanic. So they started teaching me gradually, gradually. Um, at the end of maybe one year, two years, I became perfect. I have experience and skills. I mean, to cope with my colleagues there, my senior colleagues that I came and met them. Ah, so you became a master. Yes. Wow, that's good. So which means the company is at least training uh, yes. whoever joins, and uh, any the company makes him to to be fit for the job. Yes. Right. Yes, bro. Wow, that's good. Shout out to the company. <laughs> yeah, the company is very good. And that's why they are coming uh, my company. <laughs> okay, okay. So there is another thing also I would I, I would I would like to know. So how did you get along with colleagues? Oh, me, me, and another thing is before you answer that one, I want you to join to join them together. What about the language? Was there any language barrier? Uh, yeah, I came here and they were speaking some languages. Uh, Kenya people speaking their language. I don't understand anything, but I know that it's an international company, so they will speak English to to us. So I find my my nationality i found some of them so i started speaking my nationality language my mother language to them so if i meet you and uh, i cannot because it was my first time i don't understand the arabic the saudi arabia language i don't understand so if if i want to talk to you i will speak english to you because i know that everybody uh, know how to speak english even if you don't know but you will understand the way you will speak no you too will understand it because it's international uh, company. Uh, you know, you have just reminded me because when I was back in my country before I traveled, mm. so there is a time some people used to say, "Me, I cannot travel. I cannot go outside uh, my country, or mm. I, or uh, in particular, I cannot go in Arab country, or I cannot go in Saudi Arabia because of the language barrier." Yes. So, did you experience anything like that? Yeah, I mean, yeah, me. When you speak the language to me, I will tell you I don't understand. So that is all. <laughs> I don't understand. If you, if I don't understand, I. Uh, you stop talking. You will change it or you will tell somebody who knows how to speak English to translate it to me so that we can work. That's all. Oh, so so uh, what you're trying to say is like, even if you don't understand Arabic, if you come here, there is English, right? Yes, there is English here. Yeah. And if you, if, if you like here, yeah, you can learn how to speak, you can learn the Arabic. And when you learn some people's language, yeah, it will help you too. Me, yeah, I started learning, but yeah, after all, <laughs> I'm not perfect. <laughs> it's not easy. Eh? It's not easy. Yeah, that, that one is understandable because you know a, a foreign language that uh, you, 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 when you are growing, you have never heard about. It's not easy, at least to to know the whole of it. Yes. But at least you can communicate here and there, right? Yes, I can communicate with them. Small, small in their language, I can communicate small as like the minor one. We can, I, I can, I mean express myself there but into this is there i cannot go into this is i'll just pause and continue the english class wow <laughs> so can you advise someone to travel and come to saudi arabia to work mm, uh, my brother life is not easy if you get a chance uh, if if you know that the money you are ending your country it's not, enough. it's not enough and you want to travel no problem you, you can travel to Saudi Arabia, no problem. So in particular you are saying, uh, if someone needs to travel, first of all, it will depend with how much he or she is earning. Yes. In if Australia. you are earning enough money, my brother, my sister, there is no need of traveling. Yes. Just stay in your country. Yes. You got the point. Yeah. But if you think uh, you, what, whatever you are earning is very little, it's better you look for greener pasture. Yeah. So there is something also I will... I, I will um, I would like you to, to pass the message, especially to our government, mm. uh, regarding this uh, unemployment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, because if there is more jobs in our country, yeah. nobody will travel. Of course. Yeah, so uh, my word to my, my, my government is to create more jobs. Yeah. And you have to make some uh, fixed price, I mean money, like the company should pay. Uh, do you mean any the, the, the government should uh, at least revise this, the kind of salary yes the, the citizens are supposed to be paid yes right yes like me like if Ghana government will like uh, I mean I will appreciate if he can fix maybe thousand every monthly any company 
should pay his workers thousand and above, mm. not below thousand. That's that's what uh, Saudi Arabia people are doing. They have some plus. They their citizen now. They must not pay below. Okay. It's all about. Mm -hmm. So when they pay, maybe we Ghanaians when they pay a thousand. I hope my brother nobody will, will travel because thousand is a huge amount of money. Yeah, uh, two hundred dollar per month. Very good. You can earn something. But uh, but when the monthly you take uh, fifty dollar, seventy dollar, my brother, you even if there is a, any hard work outside the country, you go and do it and uh, you earn that amount of money. Yeah. <laughs> but if the government make a fixed price, uh, like no no I mean company should pay his or her worker below thousand now. I hope we can develop our country our, and our nation also. Yeah, now it's upon the government. At least you need to to have a, a very powerful negotiation because uh, let me let me just uh, say something regarding this uh, salary. For example, here we are working. We have we have, we have different nationalities. There is those people who are from India, Sri Lanka, mm. Philippines. You get the point. So uh, the same same kind of job we are doing, but we are being paid differently. You get the point. Yes. Like. Especially like Philippines, maybe they are earning more. Yes. You get the point. Like Nepal is earning little. Yes. For us Africans, maybe we are the middle. You get the point. You don't earn nothing. Uh, so why why should why should we earn differently? And yet it is the same same kind of work we are doing. You get the point. So our, our African governments, at least they need to uh, they need to review that uh, salary. You get the point. They need yes. to set to set a certain amount. Yes. Or a certain limit is not supposed to be below that one. Am I lying? Yes, bro. Yeah, that one will actually help us because, of course, we have families and uh, friends and others we are catering for. You get the point? Yeah. So, have you enjoyed your stay here in Saudi Arabia? Yes, my brother, I have enjoyed staying in Saudi Arabia because Saudi Arabia, you know, it has helped me a lot. Like, when you travel to Dubai or other country, you know, there are too much enjoying. Entertaining going, but Saudi Arabia. No entertainment. Ah, yeah, no entertainment. After you just close, uh, you just go inside to your room. You just sleep. Pray your mobile phone. Internet free. Just use your internet. Play, play games and all that thing. Any, because of that, you know, at the end of the month, you have the amount of the money you need. You can send it to your to your country. Also, yeah, because there is no entertainment, which means you save a lot. Yeah, because there is no entertaining. You like you going you outside. You don't misuse your money. Yeah, I don't misuse my money, my bro. Because I came here for a purpose, and I have to finish my targets before I mess up. So <laughs> I have to finish it fast. That's all. Yes. Are you safe here in Saudi Arabia? Yeah, my brother, I'm safe. They have a positive and negative, my brother. Uh -huh. For me, my experience. In Saudi Arabia, to all my peoples and all peoples around the world, Saudi Arabia is a very, very good country. In terms uh, of what? In terms of, I mean, security agents mm -hmm. and other things. Very good. In fact, I heard more story negative about Saudi Arabia. Before you came? Before I came. I have never experienced that thing before in my entire life. Seriously. Just obey the rules and the regulation. Mm -hmm. That's all. If you obey the rules and the regulation, you can stay here for long. And if, and even in our country, when you know obey the rules and the regulation, the country cannot develop. You have to obey the rules and the regulation. You can stay there. You have to obey the rules of the land. Yes. So when I came here, they said that Saudi Arabia, there are a lot of they are killing peoples. I mean, maltreating peoples. But I've never experienced them before. Me the God is my witness. I can never lie because it's a life story. Since I came here, I've been working with Saudi Arabia, Saudi peoples. Even going outside, doing some jobs, something, uh, they can even call you, buy you food, anything. Not like I don't have money, I have money to buy food. But the way they will care for you, you know. They are, which means they are they, kind. Yeah, they have a kind, they have a passion for, for peoples. Yeah, that's all. How I know. Mm, my brother, but the negative side here, oh, no, 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 no. I've never experienced such thing before because when I go to my shop and repair my face, everything I can last. But some people who are seeing the negative there, for me, they have never experienced one before. And since I came here, for my years I've been in Saudi Arabia, I've never 
heard that thing before. Just obey the rules and the regulation. You can stay here for long. That's what. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> so you're, you're trying to say, if someone obeys the, 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 the laws of the land, yeah. you are safe. Yes. Nothing will happen to you. Yes, my brother. So, uh, what are, are those... Uh, uh, have you ever had any bad experience? My brother, I've never had a bad experience. So. Since I came to Saudi Arabia, I've never had a bad experience. Even when I'm sick, when I'm doing it, I go there, they treat me as the way they will treat their people. So. That's all. I mean, I've never had a bad experience since I came to Saudi Arabia. What about the good experiences that you have had? My brother, a good year, very well. If I'm going any place to go, I mean, go shopping, buy things, even when I call some of my Saudi friends, they will come and pick me up, we go shopping, nothing. I will not even pay transportation, nothing. Yeah, that's it. And even when my money is not enough, uh, he will add his own money, pocket money, to my to my uh, money so that I can afford what I want. That's all, my brother. Wow, wow that's good. So in short, you are saying there is those who, there is those Saudis who have a very good heart. Yes. You get the point. Who are very kind. So there is a certain time we usually uh, see or hear some ladies coming on social medias and saying Saudi Arabia this, Saudi Arabia that. So what is your take on that? <laughs> My brother, that one is a big question and uh, I have to address. address it publicly. My brother, about the ladies, me, I have some of the f a friends of uh, some of the ladies. I have most of them have friends yeah I mean, uh, some people they i mean they run away from their contract because when you come out you have a house a place for you to work they run away and go outside to find a place to sleep and rent a house and most of the ladies they think that when you run away you earn more money even when the ladies run away they end uh, the work they will go and do you know the work they will go and do after they run away, if they get a work, they can get uh, maybe six hundred dollar per month. Mm -hmm. Per right. month, yeah, six hundred dollar. Maybe in Ghana money, three thousand Ghana CD. That's how the ladies will get. But when they run away, they will be staying at home. They will be not going job. They will be doing sort of things. Yeah, you can see some of the ladies, they are posting videos, other things. They will not be going to job. If you are not going to job, well, which money you earn to feed yourself? Just my brother, ask yourself. <laughs> After that, they will, they will come to social media and tell the government, we came to Saudi Arabia, they, they are more treating us, they are doing this, they are doing that. My government, some, some of them, they are lying. When they run away from contracts, they will not find a job to do and they will be staying at the house. And they will be doing sort of kind of job as naughty things. You see, my brother, I, sometimes uh, I don't know what to say again. Because they, they will say bad things about the kingdom of Saudi Arabia, but maybe it's not that. Because they want to earn more money. Maybe. To my experience, they're because the one, they are the one having problems. Yes, yeah, because you are working in the contract you now, they are paying them. Uh, maybe um, two hundred dollar, okay, two hundred dollar. Maybe Ghana money, maybe thousand, okay, thousand. So when they run away from the contract, uh, they will be earning five hundred. So what will you choose? You run choose away. run away or, or you will stay there. You have to. You <laughs> run away. Someone who's money minded will choose to run away. Yes, because they want to make more money. Yes, and you know the problem is that. Sometimes when you run, run away for the first thing, it's very good because you run away, you, you can get the house to rent, okay? And you are working, on, sometimes you are tired out. You can have enough rest, maybe one week ago. But some of the ladies, they will not even go to work again. They will depend on, on who to feed. Just ask yourself. So after long last, they will be blaming the government. And when you run away, to, you don't have the Igama, you don't have the the, the national card so the when uh, yes the residential permit if the i mean the policy you are you used to show to prove yourself that you are legal so arrest you. yeah 
So if you don't have that card, now, I mean, you'll be arrested. After you've been arrested, you'll be going to deportation center and they will deport you. That place, no, they will be blaming the, they will be saying bad yeah, stories about this or Saudi Arabia. But to me, they have never, and most of the ladies, when they run away from the contract also, they go to some of the houses. Uh, mm. I mean, because they are not having the Igama, their card, they work here, some of the Saudis, they will not pay them because they think that they are not having card. They will, they will sack them and uh, just go. So they will just work then at yeah, the end of the month, nothing? Yeah, at the end of the month, nothing. So th there are some bad behavior, but to my experience, yeah, the good is, is more than the harm. Uh, in the Saudi Arabia. That's good. That's good. Yeah. So, which advice will you give uh, those domestic workers? Yeah, those domestic workers. I will, what I will encourage them that my encouragement to those people is, I mean, if you are working there and you have a free and fair treatment there, there is no need to run away. Yeah, just stay, stay and work. Just stay there and work. Because outside work, you know, my sister, Wahala Day, too much stories. Okay. So I really appreciate. Thank you for coming. Mm. And uh, make sure you subscribe. Yeah, Tell them to subscribe. Sure make sure you subscribe to my brother's YouTube channel because he's uh, educating us a lot. He's giving us experience in a Gulf country. So my brother, thank you all. Thank you all viewers and subscribe and share the link also. God bless you all. And so don't forget to subscribe.